Hello, hello. So, I'm going to start unboxing T-Wares. I uh, got two boxes out of eight. So, so far only two boxes, but even these two boxes, there's a lot. So, I'm excited. There's Charlene already took a peek on some of this. Actually, I'm going to open the first one. Hello. Thank you for joining. All right. Let's see what we got. Wow. Ah, this is so beautiful. Look at that. This is like wood fire. The first one is already very pretty. This like there's a red color. There's like lines, uh, and it's kind of rough on the bottom. There's a wood fire tea cups. There's like a red kind of grays, different color. You can see. Yep, this is a, definitely a good size too. It's a good master cup. So. Everything is, I've seen it for the first time, so I'm looking at it at, together with you. Charlene already opened some earlier, so she already looked at it before me. Oh, wow, look at that. We have something similar in the past that is like wood fire and has like this kind of uh, cut, uh, but this, this is way bigger. This is a really good size for one person. Wow, look at how shiny is this. I'm gonna try to adjust my camera on YouTube. So it's a last minute thing. I just got it this morning, so I'm too excited. So that that's why my announcement come kind of late. Um, it's really nice grip. It's thick. You can hear it. It's wood fire teacup. I like how you can see the reflection of different light. This is great. And inside, there's like some sort of spiral. Yeah, it's really cool. So, all right, let's try. Let's look at the next one. I have like so many. This is like exciting. I have a feeling uh, I have eight big boxes, so we only get two boxes. Uh, so hopefully the rest of them arrive tomorrow. If they do, then I will do another unboxing tomorrow. All right, let's see what is this. Let's see if there's any of this approach. Oh, this is a mini teapot. Oh, wow. Look how rustic and kind of like old it looks like. This is another wood fire. I'm, I'm really crazy about wood fire stuff nowadays. So, wow. And usually the way I test a teapot, the first thing I do, I always like to twist the lid. So see how smooth it is, okay? And whether or not it moves, okay? This is pretty fit, so you can see it doesn't rattle. Or if you just do it like that, you don't hear any rattle. That's one way of knowing. Um, and then you kind of want to smell the inside too. If it smells like chemicals, Sometimes that's not good, you know. So with this, it should be like natural wood fire, kind of like iron kind of smell. It's beautiful. So I will say about probably like 100 milliliter. I think 120 milliliter. I don't know if you can see. It looks kind of like rustic, but it's not. You can see underneath there is like... Uh, I think it's like painted. It's almost like a gold. There's like a shiny gold. If you see it in person, it's going to be a lot nicer. And inside, there's a strainer. It's a built-in strainer. Hi, Marilyn. So, I really like this. All right. Uh, thank you. Let's see another one. A lot of this is just one of a kind. Yes, another T-Wear porn. This is exciting for me too, by the way, because I haven't even looked at it because Charlene is the one that helped me place the order. So it's really my first time 
seeing this too. All right. Okay, this looks similar. The bottom a little bit different, like this is all the way down. And <laughs> there's a protection from the top. That's I never seen this kind of protection on the spot, which is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, you can, it's like a rubber thing. This is a good idea because sometimes I got it and, and it chips right in the tip. So I have never seen something like that. That is super cute. <laughs> so teapot protection. All right, let's see this. If you're local, obviously, you can stop by later. Hi, Nick. Uh, it's beautiful. It feels rough. Uh, the strainer, same thing. There's a built-in strainer right there. Okay. And again, if you want to test a teapot, you want to test whether it moves. You know, it doesn't move at all, especially when it's dry. I mean, this is also a little bit more rough inside, so you can hear it. But that's pretty common for like a wood fire teapot. But the most important is whether or not it wiggle, and it doesn't. So that's a good thing. It's, it's like kind of tall. I will say about 100 milliliter. This is perfect for like Taiwanese oolong, like the ball oolong, uh, so that it can expand. And then uh, I think it should be great even for like wui oolong. It's very cute. Let's see. I don't know if an hour is enough, honestly. There's so many. I might have to do like two hours. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'll try to speed it up a little bit, but, but I kind of want to show you. Oh my God. This one is so pretty. Insides, look at the craftsman on this thing. Look at the inside. Look at that thing that shine right here. Usually with this kind of thing, I wanna test how it pours, whether or not it drips. Okay, that's usually what I look for. But this is very thick, you guys can't see it, and it's really heavy. This is like three times heavier than most of the tea pitcher, and it's also a really good size. So, but look at how like the different color like that. It's so pretty. Another wood fire one, very heavy. Uh, if you're local, you know, you can get this today. If you're not local, I guess you have to message me for the price because I don't know what the price. Okay. Wow, this is definitely one of my favorite. I like how thick it is. It's very thick. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful, beautiful. And there's natural smell. That's the most important thing with wood fire. Sometimes the cheap quality one, you can smell like chemical somehow. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. If you like shiny stuff, yeah, please stop by, stop by. If you like shiny stuff, <laughs> I don't know if this is for me. This is so bright it's i don't know if this is considered a tenmoku I'm, and like i need to find more information on this it's so bright it's like this is like perfect for chinese new year i feel like <laughs> if i drink this i'm gonna be rich <laughs> look how shiny is that thing oh my god and I'm, I'm, I'm very curious how this is going to affect the flavor of the tea, to be honest with you. Because I've tried a silver cup. I have tried a lot of different clay. I have not tried a gold cup like this. You know, um, it looks very manufactured, honestly. So I don't know. I think, I mean, I'm mean, honest with you. I don't think this is a very expensive cup, unless if this is like 24 carats gold for some reason. <laughs> which I'm not an expert. So I'm guessing this is just a very shiny cup that is like very affordable, but I could be wrong, right? Oh my God. Yeah, that's it. That's This is perfect for Chinese New Year. <laughs> it's too shiny for me. I like the wood fire kind, but I'm sure some of you love those kind of shiny cups. All right, let me open some. Okay, uh, what is this? Oh, okay. This is like 10 local cups. Oh, it's like a 
probably not that bad. For some reason, I thought I have a lot more. All right. Let's see what we've got here. So tomorrow, I'm thinking to do a virtual tea party uh, to do this New Year Eve. So hopefully, we can do Zoom. I'll be doing it from home. I'm not going to be doing it from the shop. So if you guys are free and has nothing to do, maybe you guys can join me. Uh, we can cheers the New Year over a tea. Uh, I will be sending the link. Throughout email. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. This is a new Tenmoku Cups. Everybody loves Tenmoku Cups. There's a signature on the back. It's very heavy. It has like kind of like clay looking inside. There's like different color. Oh, yeah. Very cute. This, I feel like this Temoku cup is just getting bigger. Look at this. Like, oh, there's um, some imperfection on the bottom, but I think that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna put it closer to see if you can see this. Yeah. Like shiny. Okay. Another cup. This looks more like ceramic now. It doesn't look like Tenmoku on this one. Right? Just the glaze of it too. It doesn't look like a Tenmoku. So I think they tried to copy the design of Tenmoku. So I bet you this will be natural for your any kind of tea. Like I don't think that's gonna have any iron to it. Yeah. This is this is perfect for those that like bigger cup and worry about whether or not the flavor get affected because with ten more cups, sometimes uh, it improves and sometimes it make it it mute the flavor a little bit, you know. But also, I don't know if you can see, there's some slightly imperfection right here. So, which is, I think it's okay because it's still like, they still kind of coat it. So I don't know if you can see it. There you go. You can see that it's a little bit not rounded right here, which I think is okay because it's still, uh, they still cover it up really nice. Okay. This looks like, <laughs> this looks like a tea ball, like a mini tea ball. Uh, if you love grandpa style, or if you're not familiar with grandpa style drinking tea, basically you just put the tea in it and just put a little bit, and and then you just drink it right from here. This is this looks like a perfect tea ball. It's so rounded. This is actually super cute. I haven't seen something like this before. Look at that. It's like a mini matcha ball. Or you can use this as a rice ball, I guess. <laughs> but see how rounded it is. So the bottom part, they're all the same. Super cute. I feel like this is like a nice, for like drink, directly drinking tea. I love this one. I mean, the shape of it. It's more like about the shape that I like. Uh, I don't like the color, but I really like the way it feels. Uh, if you're drinking like balls, tea balls, uh, grandpa style. Um, huh. There's a black spot in the middle. You can see. It's almost like it was cracked a little bit, but then they color it up. So it looks kind of nice now. Yeah. You don't like the shape? I actually like the shape. I don't like the color. I'm the opposite with you, Rachel. <laughs> I like the shape. I don't like the color. But some of you think you like the, sh the color and not the shape. Okay, this is another one. This looks like copper. I don't know if you can see it, but this one more like a copper color. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, wow. When you put it on the light, it's even better. Look at that. 
That's like Stardust. <laughs> on YouTube, it's not very clear, but on Instagram, it's super clear. Wow. I like this one. It's like a combination of like copper and silver a little bit. I wouldn't say this is like a gold color. All right, what's next? Anything I need? I have Charlene here helped me opening. So. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Charlene's gonna say hi. She's barely here. <laughs> so, she's, she's my assistant for today. I got beautiful assistant today. <laughs> uh, otherwise, like last time, I was like trying to open everything. I feel like I'm gonna drop something. So, it's just very helpful. So, she's just gonna help me. Oh, it's a gaiwan. So Tenmoku gaiwan. Rachel, say hi. <laughs> yeah. So another Tenmoku gaiwan. We sold it immediately the last time we bring this style in. So if you like it, you know, definitely message me. Is this a set, Shelly? Because it comes like with the tiny cups. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I guess we can sell it as a set, but I didn't sell it as a set before. Yeah. It, so, if you have seen this before, Colton say hi to. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look like the set, though. The last time I have something similar with the guy one. Uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is like a different design. If you didn't see this from before, it sold out immediately. This is a guy one, very pretty, very, very pretty, everything. Uh, the lid, the top is not coated, but everything else is uh, coated with like iron glaze. It's very shiny. It's like make like a natural shiny looks. So exciting. And it has somehow this tiny little cup Ten moku cups. All right. Let me get the next one. Oh, that's just a refreshing. All right, what is this one? This is a cup? Oh, no. What is this? I think this is a teapot. All right. Yep, this is a teapot. Looks similar. Wow. Very shiny inside. You know, it's really good. It doesn't wiggle at all. So you can see that's a high quality. Like even if I use my hand, it fits very well. I promise I'm not <laughs> faking this. It doesn't move at all. Okay, oh my God. And look how smooth is that. That's the thing that I always do when I'm looking for teapot. I love when it sounds like really smooth. So usually how smooth it is, how fit the lid is, and then you gotta put water and then see how nice the pour is. Okay, so, you know, I don't wanna do that right now, but that's usually how you choose a teapot. It has a built-in strainer inside, very pretty. I like the shape of it. I like the size of it. This is like about, I will say 200, 250 milliliter probably. So, beautiful. Oh, now just this one looks like a genie kind of uh, teapot. This looks, oh no, it's like pumpkin. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a pumpkin looking. I haven't seen this. Charlene just ordered this without my approval. So <laughs> she usually have a really good taste. So, wow. Uh, what is this? Kenche? Is it, there's a writing. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, Tianfu. There's like a Chinese Tenfu character. Oh, uh, Tenfu, it means talent. My Chinese is very limited. Tenfu. For some reason, I thought it was Tianche. <laughs> che, <laughs> che, it means what? Thief? <laughs> Thief? 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 <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, if you like pumpkin. Oh, Charlene, we have a problem. Oh. We got to complain. What? There is a crack. There's a crack. You see that? I'm gonna try to get a replacement. 
See, there's a crack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Either I sell it really cheap or I get a replacement. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's next? This one? It's not even open yet. <laughs> I thought you were going to open it. Yeah, you're open. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to cut into the cup. Uh, how the hell did I open this? Let's see. Okay. Hi, Cody. Glad you joined. It's uh, our tea porn before. The end of the year. Wow, they really protect this thing really well. My God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It better be something good. <laughs> Would it be funny if I open all of this and then inside it's like broken into like a hundred pieces? All right. Oh wow. This is the biggest. This is one of the biggest teapot I've seen for Tenmoku. This is like, I will say like 400 milliliters. This is about 400 milliliters, my guess is. Or like 350. That's heavy. This is way too big for me. This is way too big. This is good for party. We have a big party. Again. Always test the lid. This one wiggle a little bit. You see that? You can hear that? Uh, you can hear a little bit. But other than that, it's very good. I like how big it is for some big party. This is Ken. Ken is going to need this when we do like tea social. Yeah. So let's get the rest. Okay. This is different. The big box, black box. What is this? Chinese always make their packaging look a lot fancier than it should be. Especially once they put the Chinese character. I feel like, oh, somebody pre-ordered this. Tris, remember you pre-ordered this from me. It was the fairness cup with a, like a with like a, some shiny, colorful handle. This is a pre-order. This is surprisingly super pricey. I mean, usually our Fairness Cup, they only like $10, $15. I believe this is like $30. And look at the handle. You can't really, see. oh wow, look at how shiny it is. Yep, Trish, this is yours. <laughs> and I have another one. I have another one. So if you, any of you want this, let me know. It's a pre-order only because of how pricey it is. <laughs> I'm not putting it in stock. All right. And this is another one that is pre-order by Chris. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is kind of shiny. It's it's a simple uh, fairness cup, but the handle is very pretty, very pretty. All right, let's put that on the side. Huh? All right, let's let's look at this one now. Oh, I think it's another wood fire. Up oh, with fire, another with fire fairness cup. So I opened this something similar earlier, same style, very pretty, very heavy. You can't really see it, how heavy is this, but this is actually, there's a weight to it. I will say about 10 ounces weight, probably pretty heavy. Uh, inside, very similar to the one that we got earlier. I love this. All right. Uh, let me put this on the side. Hi, Tom. 
All right. So let's see what is this. Comes with a pouch. Oh, this is the nine tail one. We got it last time and somebody bought it immediately. So I thought since it's so popular, we bring it in back. We, this is called the nine tail dragon, nine tail dragon and mopu cups. Look how nice is this? If I keep twisting, if I keep rotating, it's gonna make you dizzy, I think. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else. Good morning. Perfect day to try it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you probably maybe not working. I don't know. Oh, the same style, but it's a tenmoku. Now, I feel I feel kind of weird on this one. This is wood fire, but I feel like it's a little bit too thick for my taste. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys like this? It's a little bit. It's 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 similar to the other one that I love. Was which, which one was that one? Like, I prefer this. Look how pretty. This is the expensive one, right? It's like freaking expensive. Like I was kind of like worried. But then now I look at it because it sold out. You know, I could and like you have to reserve it like way ahead. But this is like, I feel like it's a little bit different. I like, I kind of like this one. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my left hand or my right hand? You know, so and they both are, they both are pretty big. One is more shiny. I feel like this is coated a little bit, which is probably safer for everyday drink. This is a more non-coated, so I don't know. I have a mixed feeling on this one. Let's see, but I'm sure some of you are gonna love this though. It's still pretty. All right, oh, my first strainer, unfortunately it's a metal strainer. I usually like it silk, but I don't think they can make it uh can they make it no yeah they can they should be able to make it this is a metal strainer i usually like it when it's made of silk so if you already have a lot of ten moku uh you want to hold them yeah you have to stop by <laughs> uh if you already have a lot of ten moku this will be it goes well with your sets um this is the first ten moku strainer i've seen and it has a picture to it, okay? All right. The picture is very shiny, very deep color, dark. So usually you want it to be tenmoku for some reason. The dark color one is more precious than the bright, shiny one. Yeah. All right. What else? Oh, how is it going? This is uh, what, is, what is this one? Is it another guy one? I think so. It looks like another guy. So it's another Tenmoku guy one. Let's see what we got here. By the way, this is only two boxes. So I have six other boxes. So the next few days, I'm expecting them to be arriving anytime soon. And... I got a lot of new new tea also that I haven't even told you about it. So just trying to get organized a little bit here. So this is a this is the one more matching with the cup now. It's a guy one, I can tell. Yeah. What is that big box? That's exciting. All right. Oh, I think that's a set. I have a feeling that's a set. So this is a Tenmoku, oh, I like this size better. The other one, I feel like it's a little bit too big for me. Look at the difference. Uh, I like the look of this more, but I like the size of this more. Look at it. That's little tiny different. It makes a big difference when you try to pour them. When it's too big, sometimes, especially if you, you have a small hand. Uh, if you have a small hand, sometimes it makes it really difficult to pour it. So I kind of like this size. But, you know, I'm sure I will get used to it. This it just, it, it's a little heavy for me, but 
I'm sure if I use it often, it will be fine. All right, what else? Okay. Uh, that's it? What about this? What is? We're missing it inside. Oh, this is just a pouch for a keyware, but we're still missing it in the different box. So the last one, is it? No, that's empty. Oh, is it the same? Huh? Yes. Oh, okay. So we got a lot of pot. All right, this is the biggest for today. I have no idea what is this. I'm guessing it's a tea set. Uh, right more than left. <laughs> All of these are so beautiful. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. Is this tea wear or is this? I feel like I'm selling drugs here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, look how fancy is this? Are you sure this is tea wear? It's so heavy. So pretty. I don't know what Charlene got. What the hell is this? This is so heavy. You know. It's a treasure box. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys see how pretty is this? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just want to buy it just for the box, right? <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can see. There's like, uh, there's like holes here. You know, this is not just a pattern. This is actually they cut it into it. And what does it say, Charlene? What? Oh, this is Chen Chan. So it's the Ten Moku. Okay. Gocha, Gocha. What is this? Tea fade. What is this? Okay. By the I feel like this is like. This is a culture. The, I should open it together with you guys. I don't know what is this. Oh, look at that. Okay. This is <gasps> heavy. Okay. There's a signature. So pretty. I think we only have one of it, right? We only have one. Well, yeah. So I don't want to tilt it too much. Everything fall. It will not be good. <laughs> It's a signature on who made it. Zhou Zhi Qianming, yep. That's the signature of the person who made it. So it's legit. So it comes with six cups. Six cups. Oh. Right? Hi, Steve. You're late, Steve. <laughs> All right. And so so it comes with six different cups. They're all the same style. With a guy one. Very fancy box. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, this arrived after Christmas. Otherwise, I probably already sell this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then, Ni Hao it comes with strainer. Okay. Six cups. Strainer and a pitcher. The only thing missing probably will be like the tray. I wonder if somebody sell like a tea tray, tin moku. Okay. Yeah, so it's a whole set. Uh, wow, very pretty. This is definitely worth it just the box for, I mean, just from get, just for getting the box is already worth it. <laughs> It makes a nice gift for sure. All right. So how do I even put these things together? Like, that's it. Yep, it fits perfectly. Wow. You know, one day I'm going to have like this kind of box and inside I'm going to have like 30, 40 different tea of ours. That would be cool. You know, like you open it, it will be like all of our tea in one box collection. Don't you think it'll be cool? Maybe with even the tea wear included. One day, I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> but that's it for today. Um, I have more boxes coming, hopefully tomorrow. I have six more boxes. Uh, uh, this Today is just the two, the, the first two boxes. And 
and pro hopefully soon i will i will do unboxing of our new key this is like our new career it's already sold out unfortunately some of you already got it but but uh a lot of really cool new tea if, uh to try uh i'm hopefully i can organize it and put it online but uh tomorrow if you're free you know you can join me also for virtual tea party uh new year eve you know uh if uh maybe right around 11 o'clock i'm gonna email it to everybody uh the link i'm gonna do it from home so it'll be a little bit more cozy and so it's, like, it's more chill you know it's not it's not anything serious but just to just to meet everybody on zoom but that's it for today thank you guys and if you're local you want to look at it you want to feel it uh with your uh you want to feel it in your hand and see how it feels you want to look at it in person some of them looks way better in person so definitely stop by i'll be here from uh, 12 until 6 p.m today thank you again for watching see you again bye